All right, not too long ago, Apple Soldier did a video comparison between the Mac Pro and a box workstation. The problem was that the video was really flawed and had a lot of errors in it. Now, I don't know if he did it on purpose or maybe it was just all to, you know, all for fun or maybe it was an accident. I don't know. However, in this video, what I'm going to do is run through some of his video and just correct some of the errors that I saw. So let's start out by watching some of his video and we'll go from there. So um, the argument is for the Mac side, the Mac Pro is the cheapest 8 core workstation that you're going to get on the planet and not only is it the cheapest, it's of the highest quality. Now there's a lot of 8 core workstations on the, pla on the planet from HP to Dell to the one I'm getting ready to show you from Box. There's several, several brand OEM 8 core workstations. And that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about custom builds. We'll save that for another video. We're talking about OEM 8 core workstations, okay? So let's go ahead and start with our Mac Pro. As you can see, I'm picking the 8 core Mac Pro, $32.99. Um, two 2.26 quad core Intel Xeons. Let's go on down. Six gigs of RAM. Let's go on down. Graphics card, NVIDIA GeForce GT 120. Uh, and we can talk about graphics cards in a minute. But just for argument's sake, let's go ahead and up that puppy to the 4870. Add an extra $200 to the price. Okay, let's go on down going down. Um, here's our hard drives. Let's go ahead and up our 640 gig hard drive to a terabyte hard drive. So now we've upped it to a terabyte hard drive, an 8 core 2.26 with a radii, uh, ATI Radeon HD 4870. And let's go ahead and be snazzy and add a two year Apple Care plan. Extended warranty. Warranty? Just, just because we can. That gives us three years of bumper to bumper warranty. $3,800 for three-year bumper-to-bumper warranty, terabyte hard drive, eight cores, and an ATI Radeon 4870, OS 10, the ability to run Windows 7 legally, all the great Mac hard software and the great quality that goes into the Mac hardware. $3,848. Okay, baseline Mac Pro opted for the one terabyte drive, ATI Radeon card, and the extended Apple Care protection plan. So maybe he knew this, maybe he didn't, but every box machine comes standard with a three-year warranty. So having bumper-to-bumper -bumper coverage on the Mac isn't really anything exclusive for those three years as box comes standard with it. All right, so now this is where things begin to get a little interesting, so uh, let's continue watching. Now let's pull up our, pup, our friends at box. And we're gonna configure our own box. Whoa, wait a minute. Right up top, what do we see here? $4,220? What kind of processors in this thing? Dual Xeon E5520s 2.26. The same thing that's in the Mac Pro? Are you kidding? Okay, maybe this was his first time going to the box configuration page. I really don't know. But apparently he didn't know about the options down towards the bottom of the page. But I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and say that he's never been here before. So let's keep watching. Okay, so let's go on down. Six gigs of rent memory, just like the Mac Pro. Okay, now we're getting to the graphics cards. This one's got a FX1800, a Quadro FX1800. Okay, and we're going to get to the graphics cards here in just a minute. If you want to, for argument's sake, to lower the price even more by $350, we can pick the Quadro FX 580. And I'm just doing this to lower the price. If you want to keep the Quadro FX 1800, you're more than welcome to. I'm just doing this to give PC the benefit of the doubt to get the price as low as I can. Okay, so I'm not even going to go into the whole graphics card debate right now just because those two cards that he selected, the Quadro FX 580 for the box and the ATI Radeon for the Mac Pro, those two cannot be compared to each other if you're trying to make a fair comparison. Now he did mention 
that he was trying to reduce the overall cost for the box to keep it as cheap as possible. So I'll give that to him. However, for this, my main point was that if you notice when he selected the card for the box, it said minus $351 from the total cost. So keep that in mind. Let's keep watching. Okay, let's, let's remove the external floppy. That takes off $51 from the time final price because you all don't need that because there's not one in the Mac Pro. Um, let's go ahead and up our hard drive to one terabyte, like in the Mac Pro. Um, so now let's look at our final price. And also, I'm getting a three-year extended warranty with my Mac Pro, by God, and an ATI 4870. So there's the proof right there that he did not know about the box warranty. As I said before, all box machines come standard with a three-year warranty. So bragging about having to pay extra for one versus getting a machine that actually comes with its standard, I don't really know if I'd brag about that. But that's okay. Let's keep watching. Okay. $3,848 versus $4,220. And this don't ship to the 20th of this month of November. Now we've got a really big problem because these prices are not adding up correctly. You've got 4220 minus 351 minus 51 plus 148. That does not equal 4220. It actually equals 3966. Now maybe this was an honest mistake. Maybe he thought that the page was going to automatically update itself like the Apple site does. But still, the point is he originally pointed out the 4220 price when he first pulled up the box page and the price remains the same I think maybe I would kind of look around to see if maybe the page wasn't updating itself but what I'm showing you is for the money you're getting an 8 core machine that's gonna blow away any other machine and this proves it actually that didn't prove anything at all because I just proved that your comparison was flawed but let's keep going an equal or lesser powered box workstation, $4,220 versus $3,848 ships in three to five days, not 20, and I get a three-year bumper to bumper warranty with it. Okay, so once again with the obvious math error, plus bragging about the three-year warranty having to pay extra for that versus the box, which is proof that he didn't know anything about the box warranty. So let's keep going. So I challenge any of you PCs. We've done owned box. No, I really don't think that you have owned box. I think that's pretty obvious to people watching this video by now. We've done shoved box off to the side. Box has just ate crow and kissed our Mac ass. Uh, no, I'm going to have to disagree with that one as well. I think if anything has been shoved off to the side, as you've put it, I think it's the ability to use the internet correctly. Uh, but then again, maybe it was an honest mistake, maybe not. So who's next? Who wants to step up to the plate next and get their ass kicked by the Mac Pro 8 core workstation? Anybody? Any takers? Now I don't want to hear none of, the, none of this about this custom build shit, because I guarantee you even if you find a custom build 8 core, it's not going to be that much cheaper than what you get here in the Mac. And when you consider you got to build it yourself, considering what you get with a Mac, with a three-year warranty, whereas a custom build, you ain't got really no warranty or no support, blah, 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 blah. Fuck that. Show me an OEM 8-core workstation that even comes close to the Mac Pro in price, quality, and power. Yeah, that was my plan whether you had challenged anyone or not. So this is my challenge to you, PC fanboys. I done made box kiss my ass. Yeah, see, we went over this earlier, and... You really didn't do anything at all other than just make a flawed comparison. Now, you all go ahead and find another OEM, and I'll make that one kiss my ass too. Alright, 8 core Mac Pro, 2.26, 6 gigs of RAM, no RAID card, upgrade to the 1 terabyte. Now, the graphics, I'm going to leave alone for a while. I'll come back to that later. Don't need any of this stuff here. And to equal the box warranty, we're going to have to take the Apple Care Protection Plan and enable that. Okay, we've got 3648. 